Yo, what's going on, boys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing some Expo Cycle with the new Evolved Knight. See how good it is. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm in the first game here. Let's see what deck this guy's playing. I'm not too sure if Expo is going to be back or not yet. Okay, this guy just earthquakes nothing. First play of the game. I think I'm going to go Expo since he did that. Maybe I can win right now, because when you make it to like double and triple against Foggy Q, it's really hard to break through. Skelly's to block everything. It's gonna be a lock on tower. He has to earthquake that. Yeah, and then I can just cycle back to another expo. This guy, he earthquaked a zero by the way. So he's not gonna have much elixir. He's gonna be down quite a bit. I'm gonna go queen the back. He can't punish me for that since he only has earthquake. Might go firecracker. I'm gonna cover it. Yep. Oh my god, it still shot my tower. That card is so annoying. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this. So he has to choose what he's gonna defend. And the queen gets a bunch of damage. Nice. Expo. Okay. He gets quite a bit of damage over there. Did they even nerf that? I swear it hasn't changed at all. And Tesla didn't even get like buffed yet. I'm not sure what they're doing. But I don't even know if the the balance changes came out yet. If I'm being honest. So he's trying to outcycle me. No, shoot the firecracker! Oh my god! Oh my god! Just kill the thing! Just kill it, please. Oh, this is painful. Okay. I, I just can't with these people and how they protect the fire. He misses the earthquake again. Okay. I'm just gonna keep fireballing. Because if I go expo, even if he just earthquakes, he has champion three card cycle. All he has to do is play log, skellies, Ice Spirit, and then he's back to Earthquake. Okay, if he does that though, I'm gonna go in. He just wasted his cycle card. No! Okay, it's not on my tower. Wait, it is on my tower. Oh my god. That card. Wait, it's gonna shoot my tower again. Oh my god, delete that. How does it still... Okay, I swear they did not nerf it. I swear they didn't nerf it. The card literally stayed the same. No balance changes whatsoever. Okay, not sure what that hog was. Played it right into a queen. Pretty interesting gameplay. I'm gonna go with this with the bridge, why not? Fireball, I need one more fireball and I will win. And one more card. It's gonna be GG's. Alright, nice win against Foggy Q. It's kind of a hard matchup, but he kind of messed up at the beginning, so we got a lot of damage, punched him for it, and then just cycled fireballs. Alright, I'm in the next match. Let's see what deck this guy's playing. If I am like being honest, probably the best Expo deck is gonna be Expo 3.0. And I think the best deck in the game with this meta is probably Splash Yard. Or just Graveyard in general, because Evolve Knight is such a good tank. Okay, I'm gonna, looks like this guy's playing Hound. 
Yeah, he definitely is. I'm gonna let that go. Because all I can do is stall it out, and then... He doesn't have arrows, so I will probably be fine here. Wait, those skellies were bad. Oh my god. Okay, that was a really bad defense. I should have just done the ice spear at first, and then skellies down low. Okay, he had to spend a lot of elixir though. And that's still gonna get a hit, so it's not too bad. Next time I go expo, he's not gonna have Inferno Dragon. So I just have to fireball the barbs. If he's smart, he'll split the barbs, but he didn't last time. So we'll see. Okay, balloon. That's really good for me, because now we can't play it behind the hounds. So he's not gonna be able to take my tower here. Inferno Dragon, I'll be able to defend as long as I don't mess up like last time. Yeah, I can just kite it over. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Kite it opposite lane, and then I'll just go queen. Why not kill the pups? He might fireball arrow it. Let's see. Okay, Knight's gonna get a little bit of damage over there. I'm gonna fireball this. I don't know if my fireball takes them out. Alright, it doesn't. That's fine. I can log all this. Uh, Tesla like this. And then Knight to block anything he does. And then Queen on the side to snipe the balloon first. Okay, he had to go in front of Dragon. That's good. Knight pretty much takes his tower. Alright, he does do that. Just go knight like this. Hopefully it doesn't die. Okay, it doesn't. I'm just gonna pop my ability, kill everything. Maybe I didn't need it, but it's fine. Okay, he cannot get away with that. There's no way. All I have to do is fireball. Yep, and then that's game. I think. Just kill all those. Yeah, he can't stop this. And he messed up the goblins. Alright, GG's. See you guys in the next match. Okay, I'm in the next match. See what deck this guy's playing. I would say... I don't think Queen Bow is the best deck in this meta. I feel like it's probably, like... Uh, Expert 3.0 with Knight because I feel like Splash Shard is going to be really popular because Evolved Knight is going to be so good. Splash Shard, Graveyard. Looks like this guy is playing Graveyard. Because usually when you see Tombstone and Skelly King, it's usually Graveyard. But he does have bats, so I don't know. Go like this. Not sure why you played a hog into a Tesla. Oh, he's got that. Okay. This guy just went all in, but you know, you gotta respect it. You gotta respect the hustle. Dude, that's so annoying. The card just infuriates me. Okay, I think he just lost. Yeah, those bats aren't gonna do anything. Okay, I think that's gonna be towered down. Or at least really close. Yeah, I'm not that's what that's what happens when you go ultra aggressive and then you overcommit on defense. Like if he didn't do anything for that night, he would have had hog for the expo and he would have been fine. But for some reason he decided to do that. So he lost the game. And got no damage on the counter push. And I think he gave up. Yeah, looks like he did. Okay. I'll three counter real, real quick. See you guys in the final match.
I mean, I'm not sure what deck he was playing, but you gotta respect the deck as long if it's off meta, because at least they're not just playing the meta deck that everyone's playing. Yeah, see you guys in the next match. Alright, I'm in the final match. Let's see what deck this guy's playing. Hopefully we get a good matchup. Also, I got the diamond pass, and this tower skin is actually kind of cool. Just got it. Okay, another tombstone. I don't know. I would like tombstone. It's usually hound or splash yard, but he played skeletons. I think it's splash yard though, so I'm gonna take the fireball. You can, this is a good fireball for splash yard. Bad fireball for hounds. Cause hound, you usually need it for like skeleton dragons, all of that. Oh, I didn't need the ability because the barbell targeted on the uh, knight, but it's all right. Queens should pretty much trade. Yeah, that's not gonna get any damage. Hopefully. Yeah, nice. If the queen takes three shots, it gets a hit. And he literally just did that. Like, I think I've said this in the video I made earlier today. Why is every splash shard player the same? He literally, I, I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say. My man just went baby dragon graveyard. Completely out of nowhere. Single elixir. Sure. You know, just sure. I think I can punish him though. He just, okay. I can definitely punish him. He's got a queen. So I'm going to try and fireball him. No, I'm going to knight it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to do anything since it's moving. Nice. <laughs> the ability did nothing. Okay, log should take care of that. Knight is gonna get damage. Oh my god, how is it still alive? The card is busted. What? Okay, I know how to counter it. I just go, I spirit skellies. And now it's fighting, so it'll take damage. And then it'll fight my queen. Yeah, okay. He poisoned? Okay, really bad poison. Need to wait? Okay, I'm just gonna fireball that. Decent value, wait for the barbell. Really bad tombstone, that's a really good log. Okay, I caught the barbell. That should be that should be pretty much game. No, he's gonna overcome it. Okay. Fine with me. I'm just gonna fireball this. Why not? All I need is a couple more fireballs and I win. All I have to do is just go to Evil Knight and I'm chilling. Dude, why? Okay, actually it worked because it was fighting the knight. I mean, I thought it wasn't going to work, but it actually did. And he just poisoned again. Okay. I'm going to play the expo outside of the poison range because I want to play it right away while he's low on elixir. Okay, it's fighting, so I'm going to do this. Oh, it didn't. Yeah, you got the bar bill done. Oh my god, the thing is so tanky. It's so tanky, what? Okay. This card is definitely gonna get nerfed, if, unless Supercell's on something. But like, who knows? It took them like two months to nerf the Firecracker and RG. So who really knows at this point? What's going on in their heads? And everyone was complaining. I mean, to be fair, the Evolved Knight is a lot less annoying than the Evolved Firecracker was. But this is just crazy how good this card is. I'm just cycling fireballs. He's just fighting for his life. You know, it kind of balances out, you know. It's just a balance. He's just fighting for his life, you know, after every expo. Barely living. And then I'm just chucking fireballs. Yeah. One more fireball, GG's. Splash yard, I do think it's gonna be really good. But Expo, you can counter. Like, if you play well, you can beat Splash yard with this deck. And also, when you're playing Expo 3.0, you have a really good matchup against Splash yard. But yeah. In conclusion, I think Expo will be decent in this meta, but I think Splash yard will be the best. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.